So in this video, I'll go, I'll go through a basic example on how to use super mesh and uh, kind of to solve for KVL, KCL, to solve for voltages and currents that you're interested in. So what you notice here, so I have voltage source, current source, voltage source. So if I do KVL, the problem is this current source will be in the way. So, so kind of we talked about super node when you're dealing with voltage sources connecting two nodes. Now we have a, so what we call a super mesh. Basically, what I'm circling here, I'm going to treat as a super, uh, super mesh. Then I'm going to write a, I'm going to write a KVL around the super mesh. In other words, KVL from here. So I'm going to go from here all the way to here, then back. I'm not going to go inside the kind of the meshes. So, so let's write KVL as super mesh. So I'm going to start from, I'm going to go in this direction that I kind of showed. So I'm going from plus to minus, that's three volts plus, uh, 1, 5, 1 divided by 5 ohms times I1, because current I1 is going the same direction, plus 1 divided by 4 ohms times I2. I'm going from negative to positive, so that's minus 14 equal to 0. So I get this equation here, so I have I1 and I2, so I have two and known variables, I need another equation in order to solve this. Another equation written in terms of at least one of them or in terms of I1 and I2. Now, I1, so if I do, if I do mesh current, like this current here, this current, that's just I1. So if I do mesh current, so then I1, because I1 is good, so I'm gonna call this, let's call this I, IA. So then IA, is equal to I1 because I1 is kind of in its direction minus I2. And what is IA? It's just 10 amps. That means I1 minus, minus I2 is 10 amps. So I got another equation. So if I take, I solve for I1, I1 is just I2 plus 10 then I can go back to this equation here and plug that expression here. So I get three plus, plus one divided by five times I1. I'm gonna write I2 plus 10 plus one divided by four. I2 minus 14 equal to zero. So if I solve for I2, then I get I2 is equal to 20 amps. Then I go back to, I know I1 is equal to I2 plus 10. So 20 plus 10 is 30. So I1 is equal to 30 amps. So, because I know I can use, so if I did KVL, let me use a different color. If I did KVL around this loop here, the problem is I have a current source, so I can't write a KVL. So that's why I did a KVL around the what I call super mesh, so around this path, basically. So the, the big path. 
So that's how I got around uh, that current source. Thank you.